Chelsea Market, a great place for anyone who likes to eat. Chelsea Market is located right underneath the High Line, and it's in a building that used to be an old Nabisco factory. Today, it's full of stores and restaurants, and it's a great place to come and do some shopping, especially if you like food. We're gonna go inside now and talk to the owners of Fat Witch, the people who make the best brownies in New York. Patricia Helding, the owner of Fat Witch. How did you get your start uh, opening a bakery? I originally come from Wall Street, and I used to bring brownies down to the trading floor. I think everybody has their own way of relaxing after a day of work and after trading on the floor. I used to like to go home and bake. Without giving away your secret recipe, can you tell us a little bit about how you make your brownies and brownie tips? I'll tell you everything. <laughs> <laughs> I think part of the magic is you've got to really love what you're doing. You've got to love to bake it. But we use really high quality ingredients. And we bake them just like you do at home in really small batches. What do you think makes a great brownie? What are some of the characteristics? Uh, to me, it's butter. Less sugar, more butter, more chocolate. And to be a little fudgier. That's why we make a small size, so that it's more intense, it's richer, and it's more satisfying. What's your most popular brownie here? Our most popular is our basic original Fat Witch. We do about 12 different kinds every day. Some are standard that we do every day, like uh, the caramel, some with walnuts, and the Blonde Witch. And what are some of your seasonal or special flavors? For Bastille Day in July, we'll put champagne and some icing. And for Halloween, one of our favorite times of the year, we make a pumpkin witch. You've been in the Chelsea market almost from the beginning. How has this market and the area changed? Oh, it's changed here? greatly. When we started, it was really just locals that would come in. But I guess because there's so many exciting things happening in the neighborhood that you get a lot of tourists. And with the High Line, a lot of people are hiking there and then coming in for a, the treat.